Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be revisiting the Tico 32 ESCs. And why are we revisiting it? Well, because we have a new setup to test ESCs, which takes a complete quadcopter with four motors, flight controller, battery, VTX, camera, everything you think of that a quadcopter should have, has. And we are going to be doing simulated aggressive flight maneuvers while monitoring the FPV video feed and the oscilloscope noise, which is the voltage that's going on in the system. Or the quadcopter, sorry about that. So these Tico 32 ESCs are a little bit expensive, but are they worth it? That's the thing. In previous testing, when we had our older setup, which was one motor, they were spectacular. And I told you these were the best ESCs ever. And I still hadn't had anything to beat them on the older setup. So now we have the new setup with the four motors. And we're going to go ahead and test it. And we are going to uh, stress test it as well. Now, the stress testing and all that stuff will come up in a later, later video because I'm going to be doing a 6S ESC shootout. And that will be upcoming very soon on the channel. I'm currently in the progress of doing that. But today's video, we're going to see if these really do or really are the best ESCs out there on a complete setup. And that's what I'm here to do. So let's just talk a little bit about these Tico 32 ESCs. They're built with very good... Uh, MOSFETs, proper MOSFETs. They have, you know, current sensor. They have an LED. They are Bill Halley 32. They have a ton load of capacitors. You got two tantalum caps. You have ESC telemetry. You have a shunt resistor for current reading and limiting. This thing just has every single option and feature you could possibly want. And um, in theory, it's one of the best ESCs out there. Now, if it is one of the best ESCs out there, this is going to stay in the top three ESCs and these top three ESCs are all the best ESCs but if you want to talk about minute details uh, this will be in the I believe the top three ESCs for the next couple years so I believe if you purchase these you have nothing to lose obviously unless you burn it but that, that'll be your problem or your, your issue there but other than that I think we should stop talking and let's just jump to the test so let's get started Alright guys, so the results are in, and is this the best ESC on the planet, like I mentioned before? Well, yes it is. This is by far one of the best ESCs I've ever tested and has ever entered my life, period. Uh, this thing is insane. It even performed better than we tested it with just one motor, which is just crazy. So let's take a look at this. This is the throttle noise level. We got 10%, 25%, 50%. 75% throttle and 100% throttle same thing on this side and on the bottom we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers now if you take a look at this this is by far the best result I have ever gotten with the four motor setup till this mo till until now and don't forget I'm using the harshest motors I'm using Emacs 2306 2400 kV they are very harsh on ESCs and it is a let's just say hmm I test worst case scenarios basically. I bash it in as hard as I can and give you the worst possible, you know, setup that could possibly imagine that I know of and thus giving us these results and I'm keeping it consistent. Now looking at this, this is basically five low ESR capacitors on a flight on a on a quadcopter. However, this had no low ESR capacitors. This is ridiculously good and for example, let's take a look at something that previously tested very good, which was also the Tico 32 4 one ESC. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it right there. There we go. So this is the Tico 32 4 one ESC, which was one of the best results I've still gotten to this day from single and 4 one ESCs. Well, I mean, not till today. Today's the Tico 32 single ESC. 
is doing obviously better than Tico 32 Form 1 ESC, and that's obvious because there's more room on the single ESCs to put capacitors than it is on a Form 1 ESC. However, this still out, the Tico Form 1 ESC still outperforms a lot of things out there, even single ESCs. But this is the crazy part here. So this was the best result, obviously, from the Form 1 ESC, other than the current Tico here. And we there was one test where we added a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor to that. So this is the Tico 32 4 one ESC with one 470 microfarad Rubicon low ESR capacitor. And if you compare it with the Tico 32 with no capacitor, it's like identical, if not better. I mean, I think it's uh, the Tico 32 is, is even better uh, with nothing. So I'm curious how this is going to be when I add a low ESR capacitor to it. I, to be honest, I haven't done that. And uh, I'm planning on doing that later on because I will be doing a 6S ESC shootout. Um, and that's going to be upcoming soon. I do have a couple ESCs that I'm waiting for. They should possibly, hopefully, they should have arrived today, but they're going to be arriving tomorrow. And um, yeah, this is just beautiful. And uh, I'm just very happy to see this because, you know, this is also a moment that I've been waiting for from our previous setup, which was just one motor and one ESC. And uh, I'm just so happy that those kind of gave us a real good representation idea of how well it will stack up with four motors. And I am, I'm, I'm just, I'm very happy about this. Uh, so everything wasn't a failure. Everything was just, you know, spot on. Uh, so this is just gorgeous. And, and to be honest, in real world flight, this will be even less. And the reason for that is because you're going to be in the air. Here, it's just in a stationary held down. And it's just fighting to move and cutting through the air. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So uh, this is obviously a very 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 good result this is a perfect result this is what i consider a perfect result there is nothing that can uh probably just a little bit better than this and, and i this is the benchmark of all escs this is like the top 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 esc this esc is worth every single dollar you're paying for um you don't even need a low esr capacitor this is the type of escs later on if we're gonna start getting to the more sensitive gyros uh, and the F7s with the F with the sensitive gyros, the ICM gyros, uh, the, you're gonna have to dish out cash for for a good ESC or just stick fifty thousand capacitors on your flight controller. I mean, on your ESCs and your quadcopter. But um, this is just absolutely clean, reduces weight, and um, yeah, and this ESC, uh, I've been running for a while. Most I've done a lot of testing behind the scenes that I'm compiling the videos for. I've ran this on a bunch of 6S of uh, voltage. I've done very harsh testing on it. They're still performing. One of the ESCs on this quadcopter at the current moment of time of testing was that ESC. Um, I, 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 you know, the results are right in front of you. So this is the Tico 32 4 in 1 right here with one low ESR capacitor compared to the Tico 32 with nothing, just itself. So this was tested with four motors also. And this is a Tico 32 with no low ESR capacitor. So it's, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let's put something in here for just a reference. Here's the X cross ESC that we just recently tested um, And where is it? There it is. Okay, so this one was recently tested. It's okay But you know with a low ESR capacitor it could do better But can you this is still an average ESC here on the left? This is a pretty decent one, but can you tell it makes it look terrible? Because it's so the Tico 32 is unbelievably well made uh, the capacitor array, the just the whole board itself is just very nice. Obviously, you'll hear people with problems. There's problems in everything, you know, the short circuiting, blah 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 blah. But till this day, I've never had a single issue with any of them. I have a total of I think twelve or thirteen, thirteen Tico thirty two ESCs, and I I constantly use them to be honest, I'm testing and just trying out different things because I know if I wanted a, just a clean setup and no headaches, this is what I go for. However. There was the old runner-up of the best ESC before this one came out, which was the DYS Aria. I lost one of them, the ESC, so I only have three. <clears throat> so I picked up a couple more, and I actually picked up four more. I'm waiting for them to arrive so we can do this and see what how, how much of a difference has changed from that best ESC to this best ESC. And I've still never done the new testing on that DYS Aria. However, it's still a very good ESC. It might outdo most of the other ESCs also. It could be the second best ESC, possibly, uh, till this day. I don't know. We're going to test it out. And soon we're going to be playing with the PWM frequencies. And possibly even the, the, the uh, 
ESC protocols, see if that'll even change something. That'll be pretty interesting. I don't know if it'll do anything. If it doesn't do anything, then I'm just going to come back and just like, I, I didn't see a difference. So there's no point in anything. But um, yeah, I mean, the results speak for themselves. I really don't say anything. This is a gorgeous result. Uh, for example, I don't know. Here's a solo good. This is a solo. This is a very terrible ESC uh, with five low ESR capacitors installed. Um, where is it? There it is. Five low ESR capacitors. This is one of the worst ESCs. Put five 470 microfarad low ESR capacitors on this guy. Can you see this? I mean, this is what I mean by the Tico 32. Can you, There's nothing to outperform it, but possibly to look something of this nature. And uh, obviously this thing handles some nice current and it has all the features. You have LED, you have a current sensor, you have high current. It takes up to huge voltage. It's pretty massive. Not It's not super massive, but it's pretty big ESC compared to other 30 amp ESCs on the market. But um, you're getting a lot. I mean, you're getting proper MOSFETs, you're getting a proper layout, you're getting all the features of BLH32. You can, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's right in front of your face. So, uh, so far, this is the best form, the best, sorry, not the form one. This is the best ESC, single standalone ESC out in the market that I have tested and that I have, I know about. Now, obviously this could change, but I doubt it will change for another possibly nine to 12 months or so. Um, <clears throat> Even if it does change, even if there's another one that beats it, but what, how much, how, by how much can it possibly beat it? That's the thing. So this thing will still be one of the best. It'll probably stay for a couple of years, one of the top five ESCs. And, um, and they're basically all the number one ESCs because this is really nothing. I mean, th this right here, this is really absolutely nothing. Uh, this is just beautiful. And, um, yeah, that's it guys. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please consider joining my Patreon. It will really help this channel. Uh, I need all the help I could possibly get. I also do awesome giveaways and you get secret access to my shop, which has some cool things up there for absolutely cheap. And um, yeah, any support goes an absolute long way. And I'm thinking of doing some kind of merchandising. Uh, it's some awesome t-shirts with, you know, just low ESR capacitors and stuff. Just some crazy stuff for our hobby. If you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comment section uh, if you would like to support the channel that way. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. So you can, you can also use the links down below. Those greatly support channel. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.